Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Memories. <laughs> Memories. Memories. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is Pokemans. This is the first Pokemon I ever played. This isn't Sonic Eek. It's not Sonic. We said we were gonna play Sonic next time. We lied. Daddy lies. Daddy lies. I need uh, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Controller. Okay. So, so, um, so we're doing Pokemon instead of Sonic right now. We're warping ahead in time. Because, uh, we got an unexpected visit from my sister. Say hi. Hi. Say hi to the nice people. <laughs> hi. Don't hit me anymore, Jake. <laughs> Um, we're doing Pokemon instead of Sonic because Pokemon was like your first video game, right? Uh, well, like Halo was, well, actually, uh, Spyro is probably my first, but no, Doom. Doom was my first video game. Oh. But this was the first video game I liked, like, a lot. I, like, went a while without playing video games, and then when I was hospitalized, you, like, bought me... Pokemon Diamond. Yeah. So that was that became my favorite thing, and it was like a therapy for me. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, gotta catch them all. It's interesting <laughs> that your first game you remember was Doom as well. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I think that was because you were drawings. like while I was playing Doom with Dad, you were like off in a corner, like hmm, this is Doom bullshit. I played a little bit of Doom, <laughs> but I didn't really know what it was. What's my fucking name? Butt milk. <laughs> that's, what, have, that's what we've been going with. Do I have enough room for D'Artagnan? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no, you do not. Shit. Okay. Um, you can do dart. Dart? Dodge dart. Dodge dart? <laughs> that's a car, right? Dodge D'Artagnan. <laughs> Dodge D'Artagnan. I don't think we have enough room for that. D'Artan? Oh my god, pick a name. Jesus. Dar... <laughs> Let's go with your favorite webcomic. Dar, Dar, exclamation point. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Pirate. Yeah. Or a fucking a dumb bat? pirate. That, yeah, Big that. Ed. <laughs> Ed. 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 Let's Ed on. <laughs> your Weird. name is Dar. <laughs> this is... Gary is a spunky dude. <laughs> So cool. Also, my sister, my sister is here, and my sister's fiance is here. He's the dude who sounds, sounds like he's away. really far away. <laughs> yeah, we only have we, two microphones. We We're making his, it work. We don't Maybe. want his stanky ass over here. Yeah, that's why I am far away. <laughs> uh. Um, Gary or Blue, as I guess he's actually known in the game. I used to name Gary just like <laughs> when I was like twelve playing this game. I used to name him like just dumb. Dumb face, Blue. stupid butt. <laughs> Blue. Blue. Yeah, just like. Blue. Blue. Look at the monster. Blue mm. God Q Kazoo. Duh. Look at how he wears his hat. Oh yeah. He's so fly. He's so gangster. I bet. I bet they think I have heterochromia or something. <laughs> he's like. Uh, he's like David Bowie. He like he. <laughs> cut his eye with a beer bottle when he was like 16. Is that what happened? Yeah, so he doesn't actually have <laughs> he doesn't actually have heterochromia. His his other eye is just fucked up. Is it made of glass? Or... Like both of his eyes are brown, but one of them looks blue because it's all fucked up. Jesus. Dara yeah. is playing the SNES. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's time to go. Stop <laughs> happened. So this is a pretty interesting one because Pokémon was like one of my first real games, too, but it was this one. Yeah. Instead of Diamond. Yeah, you know, original Pokemon. I've OG. Never, I've never used this. The box? Yeah. What? How? Yeah, I don't know why you would store an item. Yeah. You know, like, you store Pokemon because you oh, only yeah. have so many slots for Pokemon. But I not, guess like, I just items. have more patience than other people, so I just you, fucking you know scroll what? through the epically long list in my inventory. You actually, yeah. you should go to that box because you get a potion to start from there. I don't need that baby bullshit. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I don't want to watch this big talk. PQP all over. <laughs> Hi, mom. When you get your ass kicked by Gary, you'll be thankful. <laughs> <laughs> right, all boys leave home someday. All boys flee home. 
<laughs> it said so on TV. <laughs> at the ripe old age of 10. Man, this lady is the most Japanese mom. <laughs> Just like... Oh boy, Lee Sunday. <laughs> TV doesn't even have a stand. God. She's the it's most. Just on the floor. <laughs> she's the most anime mom possible. Just she like, just follows like whatever she sees on TV to yeah. raise me. So like. Yeah. So I've got to do my best. Shit. TV said so. There's like the same guy. Nobody really notices him. Look at but that dude. He's, he's just like. Mm. He's the fat guy. I think it's this guy. Yeah, he's the fat guy in every town that, uh, it, like, he always says something about technology. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that he was, like, a meme or whatever. He's just like, mm, technology is incredible. <laughs> technology is so cool, I don't have to move around so I can achieve this amount of Someday fatness. Someday I will have orb robots to carry my flesh modules around. <laughs> like Baron Harkonnen in that stupid Dune movie. If you're, if you're, like, a professor or, like... Some sort of scientist, you have to have glasses. Okay. You have to wear glasses, this is yeah. Charmander. No. I'm gonna take Charmander right now. Fuck. I think the left one is Charmander. Blue. Yo, Dar. Gramps isn't around. <laughs> Did you kill him? <laughs> Did you kill He's just him? standing alone in the middle of Oak's lab. <laughs> Gramps isn't around. Gramps went away. <laughs> He had a heart attack. <laughs> There's an email message here. I'm just gonna read his email now. <laughs> the email. Calling all Pokemon trainers. The elite trainers of Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokemon and see how you rate as a trainer. No, uh, no chair at Oak's desk. <laughs> a call has been made. P.S. Prof. Oak. Please visit us. Please. Owe us money. Please. So what are you? Uh, <laughs> okay. See, I always wonder, like, blank. when you, when you read these things, and it's like the encyclopedia is blank, and it's. I wonder if he's actually saying that out loud to himself, like Blue's house. <laughs> he's just walking around talking to himself. <laughs> he's just reading every. Like, like a little kid, like, sounding out the words. Yeah. I like how Pokemon. you do kind of have to experience things in the eyes of a little kid in some ways, because, like, in some of the games you can't read certain things. Like, the words are too big for you to read or stuff yeah. like that. It's kind of adorable. Yeah. So what was Oak up to just now? He was, he, was he, was at our, he was at our mom's house. He was hiding in the closet. He had to wait for us to leave. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he had he to wait like, for us to leave. And then he was in the middle of putting hope, on his pants. I hope yeah. many young children are watching this video. I mean, right I think now. that's fairly heavily implied in the anime, isn't it? And then he that like, Oak, and, Oak and Ash's mom are kind of... Well, like, Ash comes back from his adventure or whatever, and he sees Oak in a, like, Hawaiian shirt yeah. hanging out with his mom, and <laughs> yeah. he's like, oh. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, because your dad is fucking the Pokemon guy, right? Your dad is, like, some douche nozzle Pokemon trainer who, like, went off to be a gym leader or yeah, something. Yeah, he just left. I don't remember that part. He was a baby. Like I don't know mentioned. if that's ever like mentioned in Pokemon, like in the show, is yeah, it? Yeah, it was, I yeah. think. Because Ash's mom is supposed to be 29. Yeah. Hmm. And that's, that's pretty young mom of a 10 year old, yeah. So 19? Yeah. yeah. Got knocked up. Got knocked up at 19. What and then... book is actually your dad, though? That would be... Well, so, the, isn't there a Pokemon movie in which they meet Oak as a little kid? Yeah. And so Ash, like, knew Oak as a little kid or whatever, and so How that's that why... that happen? Oak... Like, time travel? Yeah, time travel, yeah. Really? Yeah, so yes, they meet Remy. little kid Oak, and then, like, at the end of the movie, Oak is like, Ah, yes, I remember that one time when I was a little kid, I met that little kid that later was born <laughs> later in my life. So that I, was pretty weird. I basically lost track of the Pokemon franchise after Silver and, like, yeah. this Johto, the second... And Pokemon May. Johto! Pokemon Johto! Yeah, I I was pretty much the same, but like, Caitlyn got all into it after I got her, um... After I got you, what was it? What did Diamond. you say it was? Diamond? Yeah. So I like, knew about Pokemon through you after that. Yeah. So, there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen, and then most recently I played X. 
Your Pokemon can have way longer names than you can have. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Bullshit>. <laughs> Can he be named D'Artagnan? Mm, no, only me. I'm the only D'Artagnan here. Floosh, how'd you know? Floosh. There's not a whole lot of places you can go from flu. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was going floop. <laughs> I'll take fool. this one then. Yeah. 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 Look at my hair. <laughs> Takes me five hours. Smell you later. <laughs> Gary fucking Oak. Gary motherfucking oak. <laughs> no, it's <They're>... blue. <laughs> so let's go. It's pretty. Some... We were talking about this one time a long time ago. How like there's like this mythology to Pokemon, yeah. like the games, like because it's not Ash and Gary, it's red, red and, blue. and blue. And then like in other Pokemon games, you can find red uh, like on a mountain top with like you know. Super high level EV trained Pokemon. Yeah. And he's just like this Dude. legendary 10 year old boy figure. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's just this fucking badass. Oh yeah. my god, it's adorable. Yeah, Squirtle is ridiculous. Squirtle, is, Squirtle is my favorite. You should have picked him. Shut up. <laughs> you just growl a bunch of times. Yeah. yeah it'll work. <laughs> Slower not, his attack. I'm not bunch. feeling like whiting out quite yet, so. Yeah, the critical hit. Yeah. The like weird mythology makes it like gives it a really weird dimension. Yeah, that it doesn't exist in the anime. It yeah. Kinda, well, have you watched the new anime that's like about red? No. Oh right. Yeah, Wasn't that's it all pretty... like badass and. Yeah. Badass? I haven't watched any of that, and I bet it's dumb. But it would. How great would it be if it's fucking awesome? We should watch that. Yeah, we should. Let's watch that after. the this. Hell yeah. Oh my god. You lost your first Really? Fight. Hey, you know what would have come in really handy? Shut up. How did you get beaten by, like... If you'd have grabbed I don't know potion. if that's ever happened to me. I've never lost <laughs> But I always grab the potion in the beginning and use it. I thought you were supposed to be like a Pokemon guy. Yeah, I don't know what's that about. <sighs> do you have to... <laughs> what does Growl do? Growl it lowers the enemy's the attack. Enemy. You, you just... You probably have to get lucky and not have him crit you, and then also you have to use a potion, which you can get out of your... Yeah, shut up. Would a growl do anything? Like, I never... Maybe. maybe yeah, maybe if you did his, one growl... I want would... to do one growl and then... Yeah. Like in, yeah, in, this in, is... Yeah. I've actually never played Red, so... This yeah. is like, the very first one I played. Yep. Yeah. So, like, it's... I mean, it's the first one. It's really <laughs> hard. Yeah. Pokemon <laughs> games are casual babby games now. It came out in 1998. Same year Bob Saget raped and killed a girl. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what? At the, at, at the like, Comedy Central roast of oh. Bob Saget, Gilbert Gottfried was like, Bob Saget raped and killed a girl in 1998! And he just kept like repeating that. It was his whole joke that he did. <laughs> it was pretty good. I hate this. I hate that the sprites are all the same. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Especially if you nickname them. <laughs> that's my. That's the only guy I'm gonna nickname. There you, that's probably a good strategy because it's so confusing. So yeah. I guess those flowers are supposed to be like blowing in the wind, but they look like they're like alive or something. <laughs> they look they're like, like in sync. Yeah. <laughs> they're like little alien globules. Shut up, phone. Nice. <laughs> Pro. We're super professional. So most of this game, since it's like way harder than the new ones, is gonna be just grinding. Just like... Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of grinding. I remember doing that most of my time, like most of my childhood. Yeah, I mean, it's grinding yeah. and type advantage. Like the first gym is the rock gym, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's... You picked the hardest Pokemon to play as. Yeah. Charmander is super hard at the beginning of the game because the first gym is not and for grass and water yeah grass oh and water can do god. Uh, what cute is this thing <laughs> yeah you haven't seen like the original pokemon designs yes, have you cuz they cuz they like change them quite a bit for the anime and then they're even uh, just even between this and like i think yellow even there's like some weird differences yeah cuz cuz yellow is like basically they made yellow to sort of parallel the anime more than these two did yeah some but it was technically in the same generation. Weird in this. 
Yeah, like, some Pokemon look really strange, like, uh... Mewtwo looks scary. Yeah, he looks scary, yeah. and Charizard is kind of totally different looking and stuff. Yeah, they changed some Pokemon quite a bit. Some of them I like better, some of them I like worse, but... Whatever, who cares? They, yeah. But the, yeah, they, they they made the Pokemon in the newer generation games, like, more closely mirror the designs from the anime. They changed the attacks, too. Like, yeah. that Pidgey was using Gust, but if you go, like, the later generations, it starts out using Tackle. Yeah. Trainer tips. Cockfight simulator. The whole idea of Pokemon is pretty strange. It's, I mean, it's a thing that only Japan could make. <laughs> <laughs> like, little boys and girls go out of the... Like, instead of going to school, I guess? They, like... Yeah, Ash... Yeah, I never see Ash go to fucking school. Well, like, basically what I take from the whole everything about Pokemon is Pokemon are demigods. Yeah. And some are actual fucking gods. Yeah, and then I mean, there's Arceus, the god. right? Isn't he the yeah, god? Yeah, Arceus created everything with his 1,000 arms. The god that created everything with 1,000 arms is a Pokemon. Yeah, and you know, it's <laughs> not like, I was thinking about how it's not normal, how they have like everything surrounding nothing but Pokemon, like everything's Pokeball shaped or whatever. Yeah. And they actually have a church in Diamond and Pearl where you can go and like worship and stuff. Yeah. So you can it's go like, worship Pokemon? Yeah, basically. That's hilarious. It's a little freaky. Yeah, <laughs> but it's kind of adorable that, so. and cool the same time. What? I just don't understand how, like, I guess they just don't really use money. Yeah. Because, like, it's just a game mechanic for this, but in the anime, it's like, they don't even have money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just socialist utopia. You when just, do I kids get the are running just walking shoes? Around. There's bicycle. no running shoes. <gasps> You get a bike. The, there's eventually. only a bicycle. Yeah, you can. You, you gotta can, be fucking with me. <laughs> you can get a. And you a, should be able to run now, can't you? No. 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 Oh nope. yeah. There's yeah. just one walk speed, and then you can get a bike, which is like way faster. What the fuck? Oh, here's this guy. <laughs> this dude just had a seizure, and and she's just gonna let him die. This is private he's, property. He's like lying on the ground and you try to walk past him and he just like pokes you with his toe and he's like, You can't go through here. <laughs> you can't go Oh, great. Just like every, he, he's like so old that he can't move anymore and every morning he's like, Drag me out onto the front lawn so I can stop people from getting on my goddamn yard. <laughs> So she he just drags him out there and stands there with him, just <laughs> water and stuff. Mason, this is you. You're like, you lay on the ground and protest because you haven't had your coffee. That, that is exactly what I do, actually. <laughs> like, in the morning, I'll just be laying down on the stairs like, <laughs> I need my coffee. <laughs> I... You can't pass these stairs until you make me coffee. Yeah. I feel like... I bet that's a Spiro, even though it looks like a Pidgey. I feel like Pokemon are supposed to be more, like, animalistic. My daddy Yeah, they're Pokemon definitely too. supposed to be more like animals and less like weird people things in There's this game. animals too, right? I think, no, I, I looked that up one time. I think there's like worms in like one of the earliest episodes of Pokemon. Which leads people to speculate about there being like regular animals as well. That's Though it. in later episodes, there's kind of not ever. I thought there was like a animals. cow or something sometime. There was. I think that was like a mill tank. No, it? there was a worm on Misty <laughs> in the first episode yeah. or something, and then there was some fish, and people like circled a picture <laughs> like of a screen cap, and were like, "The fuck is that shit?" <laughs> <laughs> you should uh, you should tell the internet about. The thing that most of them already know about, about the translation stuff. Like the jelly donuts thing oh, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the episode where Brock is eating Onigiri, uh, he's like, Oh man, these jelly donuts are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're pretty clearly nothing like jelly donuts. These jelly filled donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I don't, I, I don't know what an Arden getting... It's just like a rice ball that's got, like, seaweed holding it together or whatever, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You just get sticky rice and put seaweed on it. Yeah. Okay. Seaweed's kind of That's a really nasty, long, but... like, 
That's a long, useless place I can go. Well, no, it's, it's not. It's to take you, you can... back from the next area. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's a way to get back faster. Gotcha. It's a return without having to go through the grass. But yeah. if you go For... that way first, it kind of... <laughs> Forgive me my ignorance. I've never played this game, so I don't know how the map is. For anymore. some reason, the, the way that they think about it is like, when you're going up, you're always going uphill. So those walls are ledges. So like everything north is like up a hill. Like you're just going up a mountain <laughs> yeah. that way. Basically. Hmm. It'd be funny to like visualize that in 3D. Well, they did that. Remember um, the people who made a scale like to the game's model of Kanto in Minecraft? Did I ever, did I ever get you on that server, Eek? Yeah, we did it together. Yes. What? But how did they do the uphill part? Um... I think they just did it like a block up, like, or whatever, you know, or like two blocks up so you couldn't jump over it. So me, but just for a ledge, right? Like, yeah. oh, one ledge and then like, did like a half block on the other side yeah. so you could go back over it. Yep. They just I'm like going happened. in the Pokemon League already? Hi. <laughs> They're, they're like, get the changes. fuck out of here, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't done shit. <laughs> you don't have the boulder badge yet, bro. Go get the boulder badge. I wonder if I like these. there's got to be more requirements. Like, like what if you get the boulder badge and then you come back here? Do they say now you need no, to you get need the, the water, water badge? badge. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like it's like can you give me a list of all the badges I need? And then bro? I'll just go do that all and then stop having to come back here. What was that joke that somebody did? The meme somebody did about an episode of Pokemon where Gary is like, I have like 16 badges. Or yeah, whatever. he literally said I have 13 badges now or something. Yeah. <laughs> I and did? Found a yeah. Darr! And you can cut found those them. later once you get cut. Um, yeah, he was like, I found 13 badges, but there's like 8 in the Kanto region. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the, the meme somebody made was just like, Gary fucking Oak has 13 badges. When it's only possible When there's to get. only 8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he went to Johto early or something. Stole five badges off of dead opponents. He just has extras. Yeah. So isn't there... Is oh. there a gym here? There's gotta be a gym here. No, there's not a gym in this town. No, okay. this is just like your mart. You can get Pokeballs, I think, and yeah. potions. So you just... Okay. It's been a long time since I played this. Yeah, you just do this order here, and then you gotta go back, and then Professor Oak. Oh, Oak's right, parcel. you go back. Yeah. That's when, like, you bring the parcel to Oak, and then he gives you your Pokedex and stuff. I I've think. got his fanny pack for him. And sends a ten-year-old out on his journey. God. There's so much sense memory to this game. <laughs> Ethan and I were talking about that when we were doing some tests earlier. Like, holy shit, this just take like, the music and the art and stuff takes me back to sitting in the back seat of, like, <laughs> uh, an air-conditioned truck. With that, like, magnifying glass thing yeah. with a fucking had, light on it because you this, couldn't yeah. see the Game Boy otherwise. Yeah, I had this thing. It was like a plastic attachment that you could put on oh a Game Boy God, pocket yeah. that would magnify the screen, number one, which is a hilarious idea that no one would ever do now <laughs> for a handheld anything. And also would light up the screen because the screen didn't have a backlight. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty annoying. Yeah. And, and when your really... battery ran out and you couldn't play, you, like you're, you're driving home late at night from some bullshit your parents took you to, and you can't play your goddamn Pokemon because there's no backlight in the screen? Yeah. Fuck that. There Jesus. was like several different kinds of lights. There was there were ones like you were describing, and then there were ones that plugged into the like, the like LAN? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Port that it had. I don't know what what connector it is, but it's like a the proprietary, I think, Game yeah. Boy connector. I had something like that for Game Boy Advance. It's weird. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just remember sitting in the back of the car for hours just playing Pokemon on the way to things. I remember when I got this game. So like. You know, I begged the Tooth Fairy and everyone for this, for a Game Boy Pocket and Pokemon for a while. And then I got it, like, on my birthday or something one year. And this was back when I was young enough that, like, my parents would just decide what we were going to do for my birthday, you know? Like, this is where we're going. This is what we're doing. Have fun, kid. And so they decided that we were going to go to Dave & Buster's, which is like, you know, it's like... A 
uh, like bar and grill giant restaurant complex thing. Grown up Chuck E. Cheese. Grown up Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. Where you can play video games, like, like you know, arcade, arcade machines and like virtual reality games and stuff. And uh, that was kind of rad, but I was like a super socially awkward kid, so like that kind of place was lost on me, you know? Like, it was just like a. I couldn't enjoy myself in public places at all, even if there's a bunch of awesome stuff to do. So, all I enjoyed about that birthday was playing Pokemon on the way to and from <laughs> Dave and Buster's. But, like, actually being there was super lame, and I just wanted to be playing Pokemon the whole time. And then anytime we had to drive anywhere ever, like, you know, karate class in the morning, or like, like, you know, school group stuff or whatever, I would just, that was, that was what I did. I just had my fucking Game Boy Pocket. I remember making a lot of excuses of why I couldn't go places. Yeah. So that I could just, like, lay on my bed and play Pokemon or that, whatever. That was the thing, though. My parents didn't let me stay home alone for, like, a really long time. So I just had what? to go with them uh, places. Excuse me, what the fuck? I'll tell her not to lend you one. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> but like how Blue's a dick. I like how Blue's, like, the only jerk guy you have in Pokemon. Yeah, like, everyone else is super everyone nice. Everyone else is, like, your love interest or something. Yeah. Oh, you mean, like, in, in other Pokemon games? Yeah, like, like you have your you best friend you instead of have... a rival yeah. now. <laughs> like it's in... like, they did a lot of that stuff in, the, like, newer Nintendo games. It's a little weird to me. Yeah. Like, bumping into guys in Mario Kart 8 just, like, helps them? Yeah. Or something? It's like, yeah. here, buddy. It's kind of adorable, I think. Yeah. Let's go to Bliss House. Bliss. I love how yeah, not, only, just... not only did, like, Nintendo resurrect the American video game market in the 80s, in, like, the late 80s, but they also just, like, made all of the best games for an entire decade, basically. Yeah, in my opinion, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those things where, like, there's two particular games where something about the game... I played it so much that something about the game, like, sticks with me while I'm not playing it. Yep. And the music in this was one, I would, like, hear it playing when it wasn't playing after yep. I had been playing Oh my god, it. yeah. The only game I've had that experience with that I really strongly remember like you know having having just senses from the game yeah. just pop into your mind uh, was probably what was it there was there was one other one that does that oh Minecraft oh yeah we played so much Minecraft that I would just have like dreams of placing yeah. blocks and breaking blocks and stuff. That's all my dreams were for like a week after yeah. I started playing it. Like, yep. I'm not gonna lie, that happened with me, but for Halo... That's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. That was my other one. You remember just like, like the what do you remember from Halo? Just like shooting guys? Like the original Halo, just like the, the theme music and, and playing, it yeah. was just epic. Yeah. And so like... There, I, I remember when I was first trying multiplayer, and I was playing with my dad and my uncle, so I clearly had an, a, an advantage. <laughs> yeah. And I remember, like, the first time getting a rocket launcher, this is before anybody knew, hey, shoot the ground near their feet. <laughs> fucking no, so my uncle would shoot a rocket at me. And I remember the first time I jumped a rocket, and I was like, fuck yeah, shoot you in the face with a shotgun. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. I remember like looking for waypoints and stuff. Like like turning corners Dude, and I, expecting I totally do remember that actually. Yeah. Just like being in the grocery store and yeah. wanting to know where your mom is or whatever and you just <laughs> look for a fucking waypoint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That old dude's got fifty Pokeballs. Damn. Dude's just stacking them up. And Pokeballs don't look like Pokeballs yet, really, I guess. He just caught a level 5 Weedle. He just keeps catching that Weedle over and over <laughs> for different trainers, like... <laughs> it's it's just a bunch of bullshit. That Weedle is already his Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, alright now, Weedle. That Weedle is like a piece We're of all... cardboard, like a cardboard cutout of a Weedle. He's like <laughs> telling me you need to weaken the Pokemon, and he's like... He I'm just imagining he slapped it or something. <laughs> he's just like beating the Weedle with a stick. <laughs> Grabs his baseball bat. <laughs> oh Ooh, 
but... First you need to weaken the Pokemon. Pulls out a gun. I read my <laughs> coffee now and I feel great! <laughs> Time is money. Time is polka dollars. Hey. Uh... Uh, yeah, the, the Viridian City Gym, you can't go into oh, right. because, because the leader is yeah. your fucking dad. What? I thought the leader was Giovanni. Oh, is that what the thing is? Yeah. What am I thinking of? The then? leader is your dad in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, the, the leader of this gym is the yeah, head cause of Team like Rocket. Persians. Yeah, because in Cerulean City, we're going to see some like Team Rocket shit going down, and yeah, that becomes yeah. a thing for a while, and then you can defeat Giovanni at the end of the game, yes. which coincides with you beating all the badges, and then you get to go do the... You get to go do the... Um, the Pokemon League at that point. There was an episode leading up to the Pokemon movie where Gary Oak fights, like, battles Giovanni, and he battles Mewtwo, and Mewtwo, like, explodes the whole building or something, and Gary passes out, and Ash comes and, like, caresses his face or whatever, <laughs> and Gary's like, that thing was so powerful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was kind of epic. <laughs> Kinda gay. <laughs> gay. Gay. Thinking gay. Gonna go fight Brock now. Go to Pewter City. What is his name in this? Or does he have a name? Um. I think his name is Brock. Uh, yeah, Brock. I think it is Brock. It's just Brock. Because like, I think in this weird. one he's still the, the gym leader. Brock fucking Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it is, because it's Brock and Misty are still the two gym leaders for the first two. Yeah. Radiant Forest is fucking gorge. <laughs> Somebody. Uh... What I really want them to do is I want them to do like a fire red and leaf green kind of remake of red and blue, but in the X and Y engine. Holy, a remake of a holy remake. Holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. That would be pretty incredible. Why aren't any of these guys trainers? I want to fight some look people at what and they, get some money. Like, look at what they did with the they Game Boy. Look at, like, the thing. texture on those, like, just, like, the richness of these fucking 24-bit graphics or whatever, like... Yeah. I think everyone after this is... No, more trainer. Go talk to that dude who has, like, 50 of them. Just not that guy, but... <laughs> there are definitely trainers in here. They'll just walk to you when there they get like that. I'm gonna die. Just everything is so high quality, just like the, the art is really good, they did a really good job with the pixel art, like, unlike goddamn Magic Mountain or whatever, Treasure Mountain and Super Solvers stuff. Yeah. Like, it's not messy, it's like they're, the way that they Whoosh. imply colors with tones and stuff is really good, like you can just kinda tell that Charmander's supposed to be red, even though you can't see a color at all. Mm -hmm. See, I it's awesome. Every time Foosh comes out now because there's like the little smoke that comes out from the Pokeball, yeah. I just imagine him saying Foosh as <laughs> yeah. he's like coming out of it. So it's weird that there's like EV stuff going on here. Like, yeah, there's the effort stats. values in this game. It's really simple, but like way more simple than the other games, the newer ones. Like, yeah. When you transfer a Pokemon from red to X or Y, it like has to gain a bunch of EV stuff because it's huh. so different. Yeah. Because it's something I never knew anything about until like recently. Until I told you about it? it. Yeah, Caitlin told me about it too. Because what I used to do, my whole strat used to be in, in Pokemon Red. Is level 99 I would, Char Charizard. Yeah, level 99 Charizard. <laughs> That's the strat. <laughs> It worked. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I started to think, what are those, like, stats that keep coming up? Like, what's that? This game yeah. has to be more complicated yeah, like, than what, it seems. Yeah, like, what determines that, you know? It's like, why do sometimes certain things go up, but other times they don't, or whatever? And, and then yeah. I, like, looked it up, and I was like, oh... Oh. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit annoying how Pokemon works. And they kind of fixed it in X and Y in that you can just... You can just do the fake training stuff to like get your EVs up, and it's just visible. You can just see them, you know. What is basically? 
EV stands for effort value, so it's... I don't know if po the Pokemon developers, like Game Freak, actually calls them that or not. They or do. It, do they? Okay, so... I think. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if... official, but... I don't know if they originally called them that, or if fans, you know, who were trying to figure out how the systems worked, called them that, and then it just became the word that people used for it or whatever, but... It's basically your, st your Pokemon's stats. Your, yeah. like, actual stats, not the ones that yeah. you can see, but, like, the way that they actually like go up. how fast they the are... Scene. Yeah. Like the accuracy. Yeah. Speed, yeah. So like, you know how you can talk to a guy somewhere in the game who's like, let's see how much your Pokemon likes you. Mm -hmm. And it that's based on EVs, I think. It's based okay. on like how well you've trained your Pokemon, essentially. Well, so some, some Pokemon can be born with really high base stats, essentially, and so they're just great and you don't really have to do much to them. But other ones are just all shitty and you have to train them a specific way to get them to be good. And if you max out their level before doing that, then you're fucked. Like, then you just can't get their shit up after that. I know, so, I know yeah. if you, like, in, in Cerulean City, there's uh, the place that you can buy, like, calcium and iron and stuff like that. And I know that those will help raise that. They can that only level. raise them to a certain amount. Like, yeah. you use those initially, then you EV train to, like, save you some time. Yeah. Okay. The only downside is they're really expensive, but who's mm -hmm. not filthy rich in Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a maximum... There's a cap that those get to, I think, so you still just... Basically, you have to fight Pokemon who have the stats that you want to have. Oh. So, like, you'll... It, the easiest way is just look up a guide and be like, okay, I want to train... Usually what you can do is you can, because of the way that the numbers work, at least in X and Y, I don't know how, if you were saying it's simpler in this, Caitlin, but in X and Y, you can max out two stats on a Pokemon, and then you can like put a few leftover points in something else. So usually you want to think of the kind of build you want to do with a guy, like, you know, like with my Dragonite, for example, just do speed and special attack. Just max out speed and special attack, because you want to be, you know, build him as a sweeper, like he's just going to... He's gonna get attack priority, and he's gonna do so much damage with his special attack that he's just gonna kill the first guy, you know, hmm. before he can do anything. Um, or, like, with a Snorlax, you want to build HP and something else. HP and normal attack or whatever, because you want him to be, like, a tank. Um, and, and then you just go fight nothing but a Pokemon that gives you the exact EVs you need over and over and over again until those are maxed out. And then do the same thing with the other stat until those are maxed out, and then you can just level them however you want. You don't really have to, like, max them out. Like, you can only max out two, and then you have, like, four EVs left over to put in something else. Yeah. And that's usually what you do, max out two stats, but sometimes you want to do something weird and, like, almost max out one, then yeah. do the same for, like, you know, kind of even it out with three or something. Yep. So it gets really complicated and hurts my head and stuff. Yeah, and like I say, in, in X and Y it's easier to do because you there's a thing you can do where you can train just your EVs without gaining XP. So there's not this weird like thing where you have like a time limit basically or like a number of battles that you can do before you're maxed out. Whereas in the earlier games you just had to be careful about how you fought guys because if you did a fight where it wasn't getting you the EVs you wanted. It still gets you XP, so it still levels you up. So if you do that too much, you might hit the level cap before you've fully trained your Pokemon how you want. So yeah, it's, it's dumb. Like... It, it reminds me a lot of like the way Elder Scrolls games worked before Skyrim. Like you had to train skills that were governed by whatever stat you want to to get the highest multiplier on. Because like every time you rest and gain a level, you get uh, you get to put a token on three of your primary attributes. And those attributes will have multipliers on them based on how well you, like, trained your skills or whatever. So, like, for example, Longblade in Morrowind is governed by strength. So, if you trained Longblade, like, a total of ten times or whatever, uh, and it was a major skill of yours, and then you rest and level up, then that, um, that's... Gotcha the strengths attribute or whatever would have a times five multiplier on which is the maximum so that's how you max out that stat essentially so you can like level well or poorly and it's not intuitive is the problem with it it's not just like 
if you're a good, intelligent player of the game, you'll automatically do this. It's like, you have to know the secret. You have to know the thing that's not immediately obvious about how the game works in order to know how to level your guys. And it was a problem in Oblivion. It's not so much of a problem in Morrowind, because who cares, whatever, the, there's static levels everywhere. So as long as you get to a certain threshold of power, then you'll be fine throughout most of the game. But in Oblivion, if you just play normally without thinking about it, you can fuck yourself because um, as your level goes up, enemy encounter level goes up just everywhere. But you're, if you're not leveling well, then you could be a shitty level 20 guy who's way worse than the you know level 20 enemies that you're fighting. So, And the same thing can happen in Pokemon. This is weird because the Pokemons don't even have genders. In yeah, this game. well, some of them do, they like do. Nidoran and yeah. Nidorina. Those are the only ones, ones that have inherent ones, yeah. It's. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Yo. I mean, it still doesn't. EVs, like, don't matter that much. Not in single you're... player. Yeah. yeah. Not in single player, like, at all, but in competitive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it doesn't really matter for the way I play it. <laughs> Although, anyway. I mean, it can help because, like, some Pokemon are, are so slow by default, they're annoying to use unless you EV train their speed. It can definitely help, but I didn't really do it. At all in X, and I yeah. just fine basically. Yeah, I just my my the reason I like to do it is I like to use some Pokemon that are kind of slow by default. Like um, Dragonite can be kind of a pain in the ass to use if you don't EV train his speed, because he might like take a second turn to be able to move yeah. sometimes or whatever, and that's like a super annoying thing. Even if it doesn't actually make you lose fights, it's just like annoying. You and know, it can be the difference in a fight too. But... Yeah. yeah, for sure. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> like, I don't know. I prefer to play X the way I played the older ones. It's just kinda super grab. easy now. Like Yeah, it's just not that e it's just not that hard to grind. Like you can just every you know every day when you're playing you can do like twenty minutes of E V training with your dude and eventually he's just as He's just the best that he can possibly be. Well, it takes like 40 minutes at most to Yeah, it takes, fully... like, you, you literally sit there for an hour with the Pokemon you want to max out, and now he's maxed out. Bam, yeah. you're done. Kakuna. What the fuck? Kakuna used Harden. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I predicted it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Arden is signified by a square that just kind of encloses on itself. Yeah. Advanced animation. <laughs> Metapod. Yeah, the Metapod and Kakuna can be a pain in the ass to fight if you don't have a fire move yet. Once you get Ember, you can just fucking destroy them. But did you ever see that episode where Ash fights a Kakuna with yeah, this, his? Yeah, this is gonna be a total pain in the ass right here. Because this is it's it's gonna. You'll get be able to do it, but it's just, gonna be yeah. You're just gonna take <laughs> one point by each hit, and it's you're you're gonna get pissed off. Were you saying that one where Ash is a dumbass and oh, throws wow, his critical. Pokemon out and just has him use Harden against yeah, the other? Yeah, they're both using Harden and Misty's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ash is... I think Ash is supposed... My, my theory about Ash, I've, t I've told you guys before, but I've never told the internet, is that the, the reason you normally watch a show like, you know, a traditional like fantasy epic story or whatever is to watch like an exceptional heroic person do exceptional heroic things, you know, like one of the best people in the world. Sweet, you got Ember. Uh, Thank God. But Ash, the reason we're watching Ash, I think, is because he's literally the worst Pokemon trainer. Like he's the worst guy. Like he, he's he's such a poser. He's, like he pretends like he want, like he acts like he's all into Pokemon, but he knows nothing he's about the them. He's the worst, but he's actually the chosen he's, one. In yeah. several Luckiest. prophecies. Like, <laughs> in like a bunch of different prophecies. And he has like superpowers, like in one of the movies he can use like his aura to do shit. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. It's the one with Lucario. Yeah. God. Because he sure accomplishes a lot for being such a bad Pokemon trainer. <laughs> yeah. But he's still not like, he still hasn't beaten any of the Elite Four anywhere as far as I know. Or whatever. Please? Or like, I guess it works differently in the show. You don't fight Elite Fours, you fight like, you do like a Pokemon League Championship Tournament thing or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me that fucking the amulet coin is a thing in this game. What's that? 
that's the thing you hand to your Pokemon and he gets like he steals extra money from trainers. Yeah, yeah, you do you do get stuff like that in this one. Um, I I don't know. There's no yeah. item holding in this game, yeah. so I don't I think there so. Was give. There isn't fire red and leaf green, but not oh. in this. Maybe I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking of a later Pokemon. Yeah. Why isn't yeah. like why don't I ever encounter Pokemon when I really want to encounter Pokemon? <laughs> That's how it works. One of the funny things about <laughs> so this part of the game, you can actually encounter a Pikachu in this forest. That's this is like one of the few places in Red and Blue yeah, Pika- where you can get a Pikachu. Pikachu is super rare. Yeah, and that happened to me one time, and I was so pissed off because I didn't have a Pokeball to catch on. Oh, I'm so it getting a Pikachu. It was the worst. Never dig down. Worst. Never go out without your Pokeballs. Yep. <laughs> never dig straight down. Never go out without Pokeballs. Never. Never don't have a bucket of water on you. <laughs> In case of lava. These are the rules of life. Yep. <laughs> Video games have taught us a lot. Always bring a towel. <laughs> Always bring a condom. <laughs> cool fruit. Always knows where his towel is at. Me. <laughs> 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 Man, just it's power weird level that right Charmander now. starts without a fire move. That's like yeah. an interesting choice. I mean, all of the Pokemon start without their elemental moves. Yeah. Except for Pidgey. Pidgey oh yeah, Pidgey gets Gust. Gust. Yeah, that's funny. But that's that's what I thought was really. Is Gust an air move or is it a normal move though? Because it might be just marked as a normal move. I, I think it is, but like by the standards of it isn't being Pidgey, an animal. Isn't Pidgey normal type? Pidgey is normal type. Mm-hmm. But it's also a Pokemon that can do flying stuff. So I don't know. I think that I think there might have been compound types just for flying in this game. Like no other, there's no other Pokemon that has two types, but the ones that are flying type, I think, are flying and another thing sometimes. Hmm. Next battle you can get into, you should like look at the fight and on Pidgey and see what Gust is if it's a normal move. I'm sorry, YouTube. I have to go to the Pokemart to get more. Pokeballs? Or not Pokemon. Gotta go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, okay. yeah. Take my guys to the doctor Pokemon. real quick. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna die? I really don't want a white owl. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you should and I don't save. wanna use my potions. Where? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably should save. Yeah, you could. This would be pretty far. You can just save whenever, you know. <laughs> yeah, right? I know that. I just didn't think about it. He likes yeah. living on the edge. <laughs> no saves. Go low. This is a no save run. <laughs> God. So this And this song specifically was like soothing to me. Like the being in town song and mm-hmm. the and the Pokemon Center song yeah. were both like, oh, hell yeah, finally I'm out of that. I'm out of goddamn Mount Moon. <laughs> or whatever. Oh Man, so I, have I told you guys about my Mountain Moon experience? I don't think so. <laughs> so this was, I had Pokemon Red and Blue. Because, you know, I was a dumb kid and I had both. And uh, <laughs> in in Blue, I uh, one time I decided to do Blastoise. Because, you know, he's on the cover and stuff. Fuck yeah. Even though most of the time you do Charizard because he's the best. Or whatever. I did Blastoise one time. And, uh, or that was my plan anyway. So I, I started with Squirtle and I, you know, just was playing the game as normal. But for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to, how to fucking get through Mount Moon. I'd done it a million times before, but I couldn't fucking figure it out this time. And so I just ended up wandering around in Mount Moon for so long. This, this actually happened to me. I was in Mount Moon for so long that when I came out the other side finally, I had a fucking Blastoise. Jesus Christ. Did it like obey you or what? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was, you know, because like when you get over level 30 or something, they stop Mm -hmm. obeying you unless you have the first badge. Oh my god. Or the second badge. or I don't know. I, I Maybe you can have, maybe when you get to Mount Moon you have the first badge or something, so... I don't know. I don't remember what it is exactly, but yeah, uh, that that was weird. <laughs> I don't you know, know why that, that happened. That would like anger me to not be able to use my Pokemon in the in the gym battle. It was probably about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and this forest is huge. I mean, one time Caitlin. Uh, oh shit! You should catch that. Heart. Traded me. I was playing Boyfriend. Heart Gold, and Caitlin traded me a Dratini that she got from like her late game in. Soul Silver or whatever, and that's a normal. 
and she like uh, like it was because Dratinis only show up in higher level areas even though they're first evolution guys they're high level they're like you know level 30 already or something and uh, so the Dratini she traded me wouldn't obey me but I was insisting that that was going to be my main Pokemon <laughs> so I was just using him you know just sitting there he would just you know, fall asleep in the middle of a fight or whatever, just being an <laughs> asshole. And I just continued to use him because every fifth or sixth round, he would obey me once and just destroy the Pokemon in front of me. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was uh, three fresh, right? Wasn't that the one you named three fresh? Three fresh. Like tilde, three P H R E S H yep. exclamation mark tilde. <laughs> yeah, so Dragonite. Is like your guy. Yeah, Dragonite's my dude. That's my favorite Pokemon. I have like I have really strong favorites of everything. You know, like most people, you ask them what their favorite movie is or whatever, they're like, "Hey, no, no, is that a movie or whatever?" And I'm just like, "Fucking Fight Club, bitch, <laughs> best movie." Yeah. Beat Final any Fantasy other movie. Nine. Final Fantasy best Nine, best ever. game, best, best thing ever, best <laughs> thing ever. Yeah, uh, and fucking fucking Dragonite, best Pokemon. Yeah, my my favorite Pokemon is Magmar, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I just made you to decide that. <laughs> yeah, uh, for you went through reason, a lot to get a Magmar, yeah, much like I did to get a Dragonite. It was a harrowing experience. Oh my god, that's a good story. You want me to? You want me to tell? You want me to tell how you goofed trying to get me a Dragonite that one time? I don't remember. Okay, this. so we were we we're playing X and Y, <laughs> and. Early on in X and Y, there are some Pokemon that are really rare that you can get, but are really hard to get or whatever. And they're so so. What we were trying to do to get them.